So I am the uh, Director of Pediatric Dermatology at the Johns Hopkins Children's Center. I've only been there since 1991. I trained there in pediatrics. Actually, I should go back even sooner. I went to medical school. I'm a native Baltimorean. I went to medical school at Johns Hopkins from 1973 to 77. I started my pediatric training there in 1977 and finished that in 1980. I spent a year at a uh, Sinai Hospital, which is a community hospital in Baltimore, where I decided to learn and meet the pediatricians in the community. I came back to Hopkins in 1981 and uh, started my residency training in dermatology, which I finished in 84. And I immediately escaped to Pittsburgh, where I really learned how to be a pediatric dermatologist. I really practiced as a pediatric dermatologist. I was in Pittsburgh with a wonderful staff, great kids, faculty, the whole nine yards until 1991, where I moved back to Baltimore, which is my hometown. And I've been back at, in, at Hopkins at the Children's Center for 21 years. Hot things now are um, vascular tumors and hemangiomas of infancy, and a lot of it has to do with uh, some, some really cool discoveries and breakthroughs in the uh, pathophysiology of these disorders. Um, people have rediscovered pigmented lesions and melanomas, which unfortunately are also increasing in the pediatric population, so that's a hot issue. The genetics has exploded, so now that almost everything you could think of in the dermatologic community, but particularly in the pediatric dermatologic community, we look for genetic mutations and genetic explanations to define some of the patterns that we see in the skin. And, and it's a particular issue because we're seeing young children when these patterns first become evident. So there's a lot of hot new stuff. Well, it actually grew out of a project with a small publishing company that uh, was responsible for an atlas of pediatrics. And there were, I can't remember exactly how many chapters there were initially, but maybe four or five of us who wrote chapters in this uh, bigger textbook were asked to write what we thought were going to be uh, monographs, simple, basic monographs. And I think what happened is that uh, the monograph grew and it became really, uh, for us, a, a, a introduction to sort of pediatric dermatology and, and our emphasis was on identifying patterns and using those patterns to come up with diagnostic, uh, diagnostic differentials. And again, to think of all of dermatology and specifically pediatric dermatology in terms of these patterns. And that's the way the textbook was organized and we were allowed to develop these algorithms which, which the publishing company allowed us to incorporate into each chapter and we've been able to modify those and make them more elegant but simple. They're simple but elegant at the same time. Well, the art of the images has uh, dramatically improved. So I think that in some of the earlier textbooks, the images were good by the standards at the time, but I think they're just uh, so, much, so much better. I mean, uh, hopefully they will, are, they will be incredible in this edition. There are, I think, probably 200 new images so we've replaced the old images, we've added new images, and we have new blood because we were able to uh, we were able to get some helpers to work with some of the other chapters. Although they used my basic outline and the algorithms that we developed to to look at them, but also to expand them. So they incorporated some of some of the images I asked them to add. They added some of their own images, um, and they expanded on some of the diagnostic algorithms. And they incorporated a lot of the new uh, advances pathophysiologic advances, the genetic advances, and the ways to look at some of these pediatric dermatologic disorders.